such a we're saying such a strong film, and there, and I guess you know we're paying more attention to to the light because you're here. But the, it's so interesting because the light just you created an atmosphere throughout the film that you don't you you perceive it. You're not exactly know where you're coming from, and so I was curious to start. How did you um, work in thinking about the lighting for the film with Anne? Uh, it's always the same process uh, to go to uh, to the picture of a movie. You you need to have picture in back of your head. So uh, with Anne, we work uh, like uh, three months before the shooting, speaking, uh, looking at movies and looking at pictures. And the first idea uh, that came to us, it was uh, Bergman's movie, because it's uh, about woman, Persona. Persona is coming all the time back for me, because uh, it's a very brilliant way to, to see women, to frame them, to look at them uh, in a more deep way than just uh, staying at the at the surface. Yes. Then I thought about um, a Danish painter who is Amar Choi. Yes. Amar Choi is uh, was for me exactly. When I when I read the script and uh, the, the, the just the just note um, between the the bodies and the and the space, if you know the picture of Amershoi, it's often a woman uh, inside room, back looking outside the windows and so on. So it was very precise for me. I had no two or three painters, like sometimes, just this one. And then we saw some movie, of course, we have seen the Bresson movie, Les Anges du Péché. And if you know the movie, there is one scene who is exactly taken off this movie. Uh, it's the time all the sisters are in the corridor and waiting to see the dead one. It's exactly the same situation. So sometimes it's, uh, it's, it's good to stole something from a movie. Um, so this was the three, the two and all the three um, departure of the, of the picture. Inspiration. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Then we work together. I I did sometimes I did that I make that with um, director, but this wa this time I did it alone. I made a mood, mood book. You see, with with all that pictures, and uh, it's give something I can follow. You see, it's like something I have always in my head. Then for the light, for the light, we went, you see, the light is coming with the space, okay? Right, yeah. So the light is coming when you are going f the first time in, in, the, in the convent. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's a hard time to find this convent because the Polish uh, church was very hard to us. Uh, so we find the a, not a convent, we find a church. It was a man church with an house beside. And around this Baroque church, there was a, a cloister, open, an open one. And I don't know why I had the idea to build something in that. Mm. And I told Anne, it was the very last day for us in this space, and I told Anne, and you think it's possible to build something. And then we had another convent to, to, to see. But we came back, and it was a good idea. Mm -hmm. 
So then I, wo I, I was working very close to the um, set director. And for me, it's very important now to, to, to be very close to the other department. Yeah, more, more than before? Yes. So the art, yes, yeah, because sound art. It's not regular in France. There is not uh, art direction in France. All the yes, time, that's true. Yeah. the art direction is, um, is uh, taken by the director, and some are not at all uh, art directors. So uh, I think in it's not at all the same here. It's not at all, at all the same in, uh, in, uh, in the US, in, yes. in England, uh, even Asia. They are really more this, more close this concept of art direction. And this is coming from our new wave who make uh, exposed all the, all the different uh, departments on movies. So it's important for me to work really before with the other department. So it brings together a, uni a unity really. Yes, that, uh, an atmosphere and a unity in the film with the with the sets, but also the clothes and yes, everything. Yes, the clothes in a convent are <laughs> <It's pretty laughs> <It's> unity. <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah. uh, the, f for example, I ask normally in that sort of uh, or order, it's black dress. Uh, yeah, and, so and f to 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 have more details in the dre in the dress in the robe. I ask uh, gray. Oh yeah, so that's an important detail. So, so, yeah. so it's very, very important, you see. But I ask to make tests, to make tests with a black one, another black one, a gray one, a more, a more light gray, and then we find. Mm. But I have the instinct it was not good to, 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 be, to be black. Yeah, because you can really see the texture and the flow. Also, yes, when they course. walk and when they stand and with the, the veil and yeah. And what is interesting with Anne is that she she's really confident to me. Mm. She's really f confident. She you. Yes. yes, she yeah. And she's very close to the character. It's a v really a director close close to the character. Uh, yes. But yeah. All the all the um, I th I see the the set direction, the art direction. She leave you working and thinking. Of course, I share with her everything, yeah. every time. But she, she leave a, a way, you see. Right. So she trusts you, but she's really paying more attention to the, to to the, the actors and, yeah. Yes, to the story. Absolutely. And to the story, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it was a very, very good story. Yes, definitely. It's, mm, yeah. it's, a, it's a real story, mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. And now there is a book about that. Was uh, was written uh, after the film? Yes, after uh, yeah. the film. Yeah. Yes. I imagine it's not a, a very much talked about story in in Poland too. But you, no, I in Poland this movie was not so well seen because of f two things because because of the situation of uh, abortion. Yes, that's right. Okay, in Poland, and then because of what happened all the north of Europe uh, because of the Red Army. Yes, yeah. The rape wa were general, general in yeah. the north of Europe. And they did not speak about that. They did not speak about that because women does not speak about that, you see. Yeah. It's because of the, the woman situation. But you filmed, I, I believe that I read uh, probably from you that you, uh, when you went to Poland and so you, you looked at different locations and you shot there and you had a, a crew from Poland, right? Of course. Of course yeah. All my crew, just my, f my first uh, AD, uh, no, AC, AC yeah. was, uh, was French because I need one person I can speak in French <laughs> and uh, to chair all, all the time. And he was, he's very important to me. So the focus, my focus puller. Uh, but all my electric crew was Polish. Mm -hmm. and, and there is a real tradition of picture, of light mm -hmm. in East of Europe. You see in Russia, uh, you know there is great, great DP who are yeah. Czech, uh, Hungarian. Yeah. So many, I have many came here. Yeah. Yes, I have a really great admiration for Wilmo Zygmunt or Laszlo Kovacs. 
and guys like this who, who made the new Hollywood. Yeah, I yeah. think the new Hollywood are made by these guys in too. Ingram, in Ingram. Yes. So, so my crew was very sharp, but I had the instinct I have to to have a, a two person for the light. Mm -hmm. So I had a, a, gre a great, um, a strong guy for the crew for to 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 lead, and another guy who was more shy, more artist. So I asked for this guy to be a best boy. To uh, the best boy is the second of the gaffer. And, and these two guys were speaking all the time about the light. And for me, it was very, 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 very good. The light, so I speak a bit of the light? Yes, please, yeah. yeah. The light is never direct. All the time, I decide that in this place, I had to have a bounced light. So there was big, big installation outside right with hand. big, big sheet, white sheet, you see. And all my projectors were, were um, bounced on this on sheet. On the sheet. So yeah. it was very, it was big installation, and and very sometimes very difficult to have just the light I wanted to in the room. Back, you yeah. So, so you have it's like you know, when you play billiard, it's 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 right. how you you make the bounce. Right. So it bounces on the sheet and it comes back into the convent. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. nothing so is. Direct. 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 And so it's interesting because it makes for a cold light, but it's still uh, very gentle. Yes, absolutely. So it's cold and it's the winter, obviously, yes. and you have the, the, the convent, also the atmosphere, but it's very gentle. Yes. It's quite a... It's done for yeah. that. Yeah. Yes. Because the important thing were, were, were the, the, the face, you see. You have to see all this face, all this variation, all this, and the Polish actresses were wonderful it was really for us it was really uh, like a lesson to work with these girls and how about the 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 scenes that were shot in the dark so there is a certain scenes outside that i thought was were very interesting where it's very little lit really you have a fire and you have a couple of things uh, um the when she's taken by the guy yeah so uh, in the forest for instance there so for this, I took another camera because uh, I, I had to I, would, I had to do it with uh, on uh, on the shoulder on shoulder. Yeah. So I, I took a camera a bit lighter a bit, and uh, I am happy because you cannot see that. But this camera with the Sony F fifty five is really less good than the other one. Mm -hmm. So. In the dark like this, uh, and there is a very, very, very big uh, projector who, who, who lit back, uh, yeah. back in the in the forest, yeah. and then the fire, and and and, the, and this is something I. Uh, it's also I don't want to to, to compare, but uh, uh, I like to use blue and orange or blue and yellow light. I like when it's cold and it's warm. warm yeah. So it was like this and uh, there is a English DP I, I, I love much who is working with uh, the Cohen brother, Roger yeah. Dickens, yes, who yeah. is working li like okay. this. All the time blue, orange or blue, yellow. For me it's perhaps blue, yellow and in blue, orange. But yeah. It provides, uh, provides a nice contrast with the scene from the convent during the day to have, um, I mean, especially inside in the, in the cafe or the restaurant where it's, this is where life is happening and it's much warmer and, and you jump back to, um, to the convent where it's really cold but so gentle. I mean, I, I think it really creates an atmosphere where you can see the roughne roughness of the convent and the mother superior, but also kind of all their fragility. And in, in fact, you see their face, it's true very well. Yes. And the, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, maybe we can open it up for questions. If you want to raise your hand up in the back, in the middle of the theater. Process of how to keep the 
Yeah. The, the, yes, of course. <laughs> of course, a uh, lot of dis discoveries, but these discoveries were more human, you see, more, mm. more the, the, uh, how these girls were engaged in their character, uh, how they were like a group. Um, but uh, really, for me, the, 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 all the artistic decisions were done, you see. The, the only surprise and, and, and happiness was the snow. When the snow came uh, and uh, we knew uh, two days ago it was possible, it was uh, for us, it was like in of uh, men and gods. It was like a miracle, you see. Because now, even in Poland, there is no more snow. So we had just two or three days of, no, of snow. And uh, uh, at the end of the movie, the snow, it's all fake snow. Paper, you see. Yeah. Sir? It's, uh, it's, I think, three months, three months, three months speaking, but not, not working all the time. And almost six or eight weeks uh, working every day on the, on the, yes. And how, much, how long were you shooting for? Nine weeks. Uh, way out in the back? With, with, uh, no, never, never. Yes, absolutely. Uh, sir? I frame. I frame it. Yeah, she's behind. Yes, yeah. I frame all the movie. You see, I come from the new wave. It's very does important it, in it France. Yeah. It's not uh, like in USA. Most of the DP in France are framing, and it's really coming from the new wave. F from this time, yes, absolutely. From this time, where the the DP and the camera man. Uh, became the same guy, and all the crew were more little and more effective and more close to the director. So now it's like it's like that for for 40 years. It's like that in France, and I I, I learn like that and I work like that. So uh, making the light, working on the light, and framing. Yes. So what I can say for the work on this movie, um, Anne Fontaine wanted to have repetition. And uh, so we start the shooting on January, uh, just after the, um, the attentat in France. Oh yeah, the, the, terrorist, the, the, the terrorist events in France. We, so we start yeah. almost the same day. Or, or the the day the yeah. day after, the Hebdo, yes. The, the Charlie Hebdo. Uh, then uh, before, um, in December, we went with Anne on the location. The location were more or less ready, and uh, she asked the actresses to 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 repeat the scene. It was for the text. It was for to see them in the in the dress in the, in the with the wardrobe and so on. And I think many DPs would have said we are going to shoot that for to have example. And I did not want to shoot 
but I uh, wanted to, to make photo. And uh, with the little camera, I, spo I spoke uh, the, the little Lumix. So I, I, I made, uh, yes, dozen of photos. It was in natural light because it was not, it was not the time it of the light. Set, yeah. And for me, it was really uh, uh, a uh, really important inspiration. Mm. So if, it, if it's a way to answer you. <laughs> For well, the actor, yeah. For the actor, for so the actress. <laughs> Speaking to them, give, give him, giving, giving to, giving to them the direction of the, of, 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 of being, of playing. Uh, speaking about the character, and speaking about yes, and. I can say all the other um, components. Yes, aspects, components yeah. are coming from from me, like a proposition to the director. Of course, she, if she said no, I don't agree, or she, it's always proposition. But on this movie, especially, I work a lot on proposition. Yeah, and. Yeah, and Caroline was saying earlier that Anne Fontaine is particularly interested in the actor. Uh, but it's actually a good question maybe to open it up to other directors you work with because they all have their uh, special interests or some of them are more as craftsmen and technicians like Jean-Luc Godard and some of them have different expectations f for, for you. Of course, of course. Uh, I have to be where they want me, me to, to be. be. And if if the space is it's it's a more physical and great space, I, I can take it. If it's if if I if I have to. But of course, she's not really technique, Anne. Yeah, you see, she's not much of a technician. N men yeah. are more technician. Oh yeah. Or on it can be a generality, but men it's are more generally. technician. I don't say that for uh, Catherine Bigelow. <laughs> But even, even she, she, all, all her movie are and and, and, held. and yeah. sh sh Detroit, shooted. I think, was yes. entirely handheld. And two or three camera. So you see, um, I think it's a way to have a great, great material. She's she's not always. Um, I think Barry O'Croyd is working a lot on the. On the yes, set, yeah. that's yes. the DP for Catherine Bigelow. No, no. It's it's more uh, a small budget, so it's to make the film. Yeah. This this was not a so a small, small budget. budget. That's true. No, it was six six uh, million uh, euros, so it's seven million dollars. It's not uh, small, for small. us. It's middle budget. You mm. see, for in France, in France, lit low budget are one or two. Mm. This is the middle. And it's it start to be a big budget uh, over ten, you see. And six, I think, that, that give more. Yes, you see? I, I, uh, I always wanted to to go over what you have, and I think it can look mm, like yeah, uh, a lot more. Eight, for sure. or yeah. 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 I guess you would call it production value in the U.S. Yeah. <laughs> production value. Uh, right here? The So, yes, I'm sorry. Uh, the question was, the, uh, Caroline spoke about being inspired by Les Anges du Péché and Bergman's film Persona. And the question is, what, uh, what are your general, more personal uh, inspirations for the work that you're doing, more generally? It's a long, it's a long question. 
I, I learned my job with a DP because I was assistant after school. Uh, and this DP, William Lubchansky, was really interested by contrast. You see, he was coming from black and white and uh, then color, and uh, he worked with a very dark and light situation, you see. Uh, an opposition between uh, uh, light and darkness. First, my first movie, if you can see, uh, Toute une nuit of Chantal Ackerman, or uh, the Rivet movie, uh, the Bande des Quatre, yes, yeah. are contrast movie. Okay? And then I, I went a lot to, to, to see movies. And there was another um, wave of DPs. In France, it was um, Philippe Rousselot, who came after uh, to US, uh, Bruno Nuiten. And then when I was still a student, I saw a movie. And it was like a dick click for, a click for me. It was um, the, the Long Goodbye from uh, Robert Altman. It's, it can be strange for you, but this, this movie tell me there is a way to, to, make, to make an ambience. The light is here to, to create the ambience. Uh, it's not always to go on the character, but it can be more vague, you see. And the character can also be in the darkness and so on. And so I asked me, who, who was this guy who lit this movie? And I understood it's, uh, it was uh, Wilmo Zygmunt. And after I saw everything about, from Wilmo Zygmunt, and for, for me, and I think for all the DPs of the world, it was a great, great master. Very, really, really deep with the light. Very clever and very deep. Giving something who is not always, and not at all naturalistic. Something always going more deep, like an interpretation of uh, the space and the country is um, uh, filming. And you can see that in Dear Hunter. There is comes the, the beginning of Dear Hunter. I think it's the most impressive picture I have seen about America. And, and the guy is Czech, you see. So it's very interesting to see when somebody is um, involved to, to interpret and to, to give a picture of a country, it can be, it can be a stranger. The American influences. Yeah. It's clear what I say? Yes. Uh, sir in the middle with the glasses. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I hope you're coming tonight yes. to see it again. <laughs> but yes, it's it's absolutely it's not the contrary, but it's uh, but you see, um, Karak's world is a is, is a dream world. It's not at all uh, the 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 real world. So it's just poetry, and you have to create something who is really more uh, fantastic, or it's not. Realism, not naturalism, you see. Yeah, but how do you light up for that? Oh, uh, only motors, it's a very, very technical work. And I will speak about that tonight. It's each sequence is a nightmare. <laughs> and you have, to, you have to take your head in your hand and, and to, to, to think for weeks how I will do that, how I will do this one each sequence. So I, I will explain that tonight. <laughs> I hope you're coming. But <laughs> really, you, I, I admire your question because it's, 
you can see doing my job, you have to go from, it's like, it's like making a trip, you see, it's like, a, it's a journey to be a DP. You go from a world to another world and you have to go in and to understand it and to, to give what you have to give. It's like you are, you, you are a musician, you see. If I go from Mozart to Bartok, yes. Uh, so they are not in the same uh, in the same uh, time. But the, you see, it's really there is something really close to the interpretation of music to work with the light, to work with the picture. Yes, you interpreting the light in a way. Yes, yes. I I I feel I am like an actor on that. Yes, yeah. of course. It's not, it's interpretation, yes, absolutely. We have time for one last, pic one last question, if there is one in the... I think there, there's so much more, I wish we had more time to, I hope you're coming this evening, but there is so much more to discuss about all the films you've done and where you're coming from also in the 70s. So maybe you can finish on that one. If you could tell us, Caroline, you started working in cinema at such an interesting time, you know, coming, the, the new wave was there, so artistically was an interesting uh, moment in French cinema, but also in, the, in, so, in society with the women's uh, liberation movement. And you came right in there in the, in the 70s, can you say something about yes, it? Because it's so you important you say, to... You say what I say. So I think I have this great uh, chance to come, to came uh, at the right place in France uh, in the right, right time. Because if I think uh, Godard made a lot for my uh, career, you see, saying, uh, just come to me, come work with me, first for two years and afterwards for one year more, he gave something uh, that after the, 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 the young director of like, uh, not Ackerman because it was done with Ackerman, but uh, Garel, Doyon, uh, so we can work with a girl, we can work with her and uh, uh, so it was done. It was, uh, it was like a chance. And you said something interesting, I, I wanted to mention it. I, I think you s said that maybe on a few occasions that that period for women was so important because it gave you all the energy and the, maybe the confidence to do what you wanted to do in that field and be able to say, you know, I, I want to be a cinematographer, you know. Yes, it was like a provocation. There yeah. was a, there was no woman in this job. Yes, it was not. Uh, no, it's like you want to drive a plane or something like that. There was no woman in this job, and you say, why there is no woman? I, I would like to do that. And then you go, and you are often you are helped by men because, yes, because there there, there no was this else. guy who take me in his crew, Lubchansky. Then there was this guy, Jean-Luc Godard, who asked me to work with him. Uh, so so the, 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 the road was done. But, uh, but the first idea was, uh, yes, because why there is no woman is in this job? And after you, you don't think about that, you go. And there is a lot of... Uh, Unconscious and consciousness, and consciousness going in that. And when I look back, I say, "Oh, how, how I did that!" <laughs> with two girls, with with child, you see, with no, it was uh, it was not so easy, but it's, it's okay. One last. Oh, I, I, I can say that, yes, but I am not an actress, you see, and it's not at all the same. 
because uh, I have a tool. I think an actress is like new, new you see, with nothing. Uh, to have a tool is more, I, I don't feel like a woman, you see, I, am, I feel like um, I'm, I'm a, a bit uh, feminine and a bit masculine. Uh, I, I, I'm not afraid by that. I think everybody can be feminine and masculine. I don't, I am not a, a socialist, you see. So I think this kind of man, of course I met, did not go too much with me. I frightened them. <laughs> <laughs> a woman with a camera, right? <laughs> Thank you so much, and I hope that some of you will stay tonight for Holy Motors. It's definitely a film to watch, and a, a rare film, I think, in French cinema, and there's a lot to talk about afterwards. Thank you, Delphine. Thank you, Thank you very much.